Facebook or Twitter.com slash in third person. I almost never use it, but if people want to chat on there, we could do that too. Is it too early to talk tears on? Well, this game's been out for like a year, so I, I'm guessing there is opinions on this. Let me pull up a tier list real quick. I think I've played enough of the game that I can at least start thinking about what, who's good, who's bad. Red colors, gray colors. Uh, I'm just looking at Steam, right? Oh, Steam message boards. Doesn't seem like anyone's got anything crazy formal. Kiko was super high tier. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna look at the character select screen and then talk about some things I've seen. Kikio was... I don't know, off the top of my head, I think she seems okay. I, th I think the challenge would be being able to control the placement of her cat. Quinn? Like, I think he has some really interesting gimmicks. But I don't... I don't necessarily see him as, like, the best in the game. I think his damage seems low until he's in the wolf thing. And if you're able to hit him out of the wolf, then I think he's okay. Quinn has way too much mobility and hit stun. I think in particular on the when Quinn dashes forward with the wolf, that can be really hard to deal with. I like Parker a lot. I think that... As soon as he's able to slap the ball, like, granted, that takes a lot of setup. If he's able to slap the ball out on the screen, and he pretty much controls, like, all of that horizontal width. And he can smack you for, like, a 5-6 to six hit combo if you get caught. Really interesting tools. I'd love to see more Parker stuff. I love June. She doesn't seem to be a very popular character at all, but I, I just love the possibilities of her moveset and just, I can just like super lame you out, poke you from far away, or create these really interesting mix-ups and extended combos with the shadow. I don't know, like, as soon as I saw June as a character, I was like, oh my goodness, I need to play this character. And she's not the type of character I play in any other fighting game. I tend to lean heavily towards rushdown characters. But, I don't know. I just think June is, like, the coolest. <laughs> Sub-11 seems to be... I don't know. Like, he's his, some of his command grabs are really strong. I think one of them is, like, four hits. But I think... It seems to be really hard to get people to block. And maybe it's just because the, the game is really early in its Switch lifespan. But getting people to, I think, eat, get get grabbed by those seems pretty tough at the moment curious to see i think he's a lot of fun to play though i love the the sweep with that like stretches his arms outwards and then he pulls himself in i love that he can do the crouching heavy punch into the air grab he's got some cool stuff there um hector is i think at this point in the game's life, I think he might be the worst character. And, like, you guys can chime in and tell me if I'm completely off base here. Just from the little I have seen, he has some really great moves, but the losing his health on every special move seems like such a, such a deterrent. Like, you hit one amazing Hector combo, and then you get caught in a combo, and all of a sudden half your health is just gone. I think he's just way too high risk, like losing your health constantly and having to stop to... Last I heard, Hector was low tier, they buffed him, so up in the air. Okay. Yeah, I just I just think that the whole co sacrificing your health is... That hurts him too much. And Naomi, she seems crazy good. <laughs> Uh, she has a lot of shenanigans with the, the cross-up elbow and then the EX moves being able to link in extended combos. Her pressure seems really good. So I think she's probably up. I, I, I guess I wonder if she's legit really good or she just has cheap stuff that people are exploiting early on in the game's life. That's kind of where I'm at with Naomi at this point. She can do a ton of damage, though. 
And then I think Tenchi is just really solid. Uh, very good fundamental move list. I think the the jumping heavy that can kind of hit on either side is really good. I, I wish he had a link combo, like being able to go from like light to heavy or something. He feels a little limited, but like fundamentally, he's got a lot of good stuff. Two different types of uppercuts for different scenarios. Um, pretty decent damage as well. So those are my early thoughts. I, once again, like the core fighting of Pocket Rumble is really good, and I like the control scheme. I just really wish there was difficulty settings in arcade mode and the matchmaking was better so that I'm not jumping up between number 6,000 and number 3. But later this year, it's supposedly the Switch is going to get updates and hopefully that's, that's on the list, on the roadmap for what is going to happen with this game. Okay, so that's going to do it for me. I've got a get dressed, do some laundry, and carry on.